Yes. Welcome to the refresh. Today is 9:22:22, and I'm Chase here with my co-anchor Andrew. And today we're going to tell you some news. First off, tonight there will be a junior parent meeting in the Fine Arts Theater. What's it going to be about, Andrew? It's going to be about Miss Collum making sure you're suited up and ready for college. That's so cool. I hope you get the college you want. Th thanks, Chase, but we're only in seventh grade. Oh yeah, I forgot. Anyways, tickets go on sale for sophomores for homecoming starting today. Tickets are $65 a piece. What about the freshmen in their freshman world? Huh, I forgot. Oh yeah, freshmen may begin buying tickets on Monday. Remember you need to turn in your parents' signed permission forms. Better hurry up, seniors and juniors, because prices will go up to $75 this Tuesday. Hey Chase, when will we get to go to homecoming? Well, I don't know. Gotta ask somebody with enough brains to figure that one out. Wow, Chase, really? Uh, I don't know. Anyways. Also in news, congrats to McKenna Davis, Grace Olson, and Aiden Whitty because they made it to the next rounds of auditions for the All-State Choir. The next audition will be in October. Oh, That's enough, Chase. Be quiet now. Inside voices, remember. But it's my choir voice. Okay, Andrew. But anyways, Spiritual Emphasis Week is coming up next week. We will be meeting in the gym on Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday for chapel. Everyone will meet Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. That's for both high school and middle school. Oh, and did I mention that next Friday we are having a pep rally in the FBA game? No, you didn't. Oh. Well, anyways, I'm telling you now. Okay, Chase. Calm down. Okay, Andrew, but there's one more thing happening today. Well, what is that? Well, today after school, there will be a first meeting of the board game club for the 8th grade through 12th graders. So, not us? Another thing we can't go to? Sorry, Andrew. Anyways, it starts today in Ms. Hale's classroom, which is room 236 from 325 to 430. Where do they go when the club is over? Well, if they can drive, or they can leave, obviously. Or their parents can pick them up. Uh, so if I pretend to be an 8th grader and my parents aren't here to pick me up after it's over? Well, then you can go right across the hall to Mr. Alexander's room after care. Do not pretend to be an 8th grader. You won't fool anybody, Andrew. You know it. Well, I won't be able to now, so I guess all that left to do is head off to sports. Thanks, guys. There was only one event yesterday. Which was the Private 8 Swim Meet. Girls and boys both placed fourth in the 200-yard medley relay. For the girls, Kelsey Moss placed third in the girls' 50-yard freestyle. Julia Kelleher placed fourth in the girls' 100-yard butterfly, and CC Villarreal placed fourth in the girls' 500-yard freestyle. In the girls' 200-yard freestyle relay, ECS placed second, while in the boys, they placed third in the same event. That's not all. Zach Steubing placed third in the boys' 200-yard freestyle, while James Kelleher placed third in the boys' 50-yard freestyle, followed by Parkler, Parker Inkladon, who placed fourth. Well, in upcoming sports, it's all volleyball. Middle school will be going to Canterbury tonight, while high school will be on the road at LaBelle. Middle school B will play at 4, and middle school A will play at 5. Meanwhile, for high school, the JV team is playing at 5, and varsity is playing right after at 6. Moving on from volleyball, there's a private 8 meet at golf. Where will it be? Well... There will be a meeting at, Cor at Old Corkscrew Country Club, Club in Estero. They are set off to tee at 9 a.m. this morning, so it looks like they actually might get to play instead of having it canceled because of a storm. That's true. I think they've only played like one match. It's been a really rough season for them. Well, one last announcement is for the news press, press athlete of the week. Yep, it looks like Tanner Helton is going to run away with this one, making yet another athlete of the week for us. Why is that? Well, he's currently running away with the voting, and he has 46% of the vote. That's a lot. How close is the voting? Well, the next guy only has 19% of the votes, and the contest ends at 10 a.m. this morning. So unless something crazy happens, it looks like Tanner has it in the bag. Well, thanks for voting, everyone, and that's all for sports. So let's go to Chase and Andrew with the rest of the announcements. Scooper, now it's time for Andrew to tell you some final announcements. You're enthusiastic today. I'm always like this, Andrew. Well, uh, thanks for telling us. Now for the final announcement. Juniors and seniors. I thought you said I was going to say that part. Oh, sorry. Well, now that we have taken care of that, juniors and seniors. Didn't I already say that? Chase. Oh, yeah. I can't help it. So, juniors and seniors, as Chase has clearly told us, if you have not turned in your parking pass agreement, please do... 
please do so by Friday. Chase, do you want me to tell? Do you want, do you want to tell us, or do you want me to finish what I was trying to say? Oh, I just want to say that it's Friday. Th thank you, Chase. So, if you have not turned in your parking pass agreement, please do so by this Friday, September 23rd, to the high school office. You your fax will be billed the $20 in October, and remember that you must display your student parking pass hang tag on your rear view mirror whenever you are parking on campus. That's all. That's all for today. See you later, fans.